again. Yes. Welcome back to the Lockout Men Podcast Show. I am your humble host, Lockout Men. And as y'all can hear, I am in the parking lot of the Flying J up here in Ohio. Now, I, I didn't expect to be back, maybe. I didn't think, but I am back. I do have a load that I pick up that would take me back to Illinois. And then from Illinois, I am coming back. But let me get into this podcast today. Today, today, I had to come and chop it up with you guys. As always, I got to go to my trusty phone because when I write everything down, I tend not to get everything together so I won't have it all mumbled. You see what I'm saying? But with all these noises and with all these trucks in the background, this is just a good part for me to tell you guys what's up now last time i talked to you guys about safety i figured a lot of new jacks that's coming out into the game they can use some advice they need some advice and with that said i i hope that the advice that i give y'all could take it and run with it you know i i just kind of wish that this was kind of told to me back in the day so i guess now i'm coming to you guys with it you know my years of experience i'm not a veteran yet i'm not 20 30 i'm only five i'm five years deep in the game going on six you know what i'm saying i'm getting up there though but in this episode man i want to talk to you guys about rookie mistakes rookie mistakes a lot of mistakes I did when I was a rookie. A lot of mistakes you guys going to do when you come out here. A lot of mistakes that you as a rookie truck driver may not may or may not know at this time. You are excited. You just got your license. I mean, check it out. You just got this golden ticket. You got to hold on to that golden ticket because without it, where else you gonna make this kind of money at? I'm just saying. Where else you gonna make this kind of money? Leave it in the comments below where else you gonna make this kind of money. You see what I'm saying? Without further ado, we 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 about to get into it, man. We about to jump, we about to jump right into it, alright? So let me ask you guys this question. Rookies, let me ask you this question right quick. What is or what do running out of fuel? relying too heavily on the gps and getting lost accidentally going over hours what what all those got in common right what what do those have in common i mean a lot of us buy a gps and we follow it to the t but not all gps is is trust specific and they can get you in trouble I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But what they all have in common is they are some of the biggest rookie mistakes out here. Ooh, it's hot. There are the biggest rookie mistakes out here. Following the GPS like the Qualcomm, you know, like the Qualcomm can and will get you lost and get you in some serious situations that the company may feel that it's your fault, but you're using their equipment. See what I'm saying? There's a lot of new drivers out here. A lot, a lot coming out here. You see what I'm saying? It's a lot of new drivers coming out here. This, I, I say driving schools is filling up every week. Truck driving companies have an orientation every week. Rookie mistakes can cost big time it could cost you it could cost the company not to mention the fact that some of the mistakes that you guys make are dangerous i'm just saying so what i did i went of course did some research and i put together maybe a few if not if not some ideas on how to avoid your mistakes when you get out here Take it, take it from lockout, man. You know what I'm saying? I've been there. I've done that. So here's, 
Here's something that I come up with. Don't be a bully. And you get out here, you got your driver's license, you got your CDLs, now you think you the big shit out here. You know what I'm saying? You you just get out here and just run wild. You wanna be a bully. You wanna you wanna you wanna show everybody around you that since you driving this big rig, you the big shit. It gives you a lot of power. Yeah, man, trust me. It gives you a lot of power. It gives you a lot of power. A lot of rookies out here let that shit go to their head. It really do. Like, when they get in the truck with their trainers, it's like, you can't tell me shit. But you, you're a new guy. You got you to gotta stop and think just so that you can make sure you understand what you're doing behind the wheel of a truck. All right. Not only does that make truck drivers in general look bad, but it's again, it's it's a dangerous thing by being bullied, by being a, a rookie bully. It, does that make sense? Does that make any sense? Don't intimidate other drivers with your truck, and don't and and don't feel like you're intimidated by other drivers. This do what you normally supposed to do out here, and I think you'll be all right. Another mistake, if it's too good to be true, then it probably is. We call the recruiters all the time. And go to my channel, make sure you subscribe, like, share, hit that all button so that you can get the calls that I make to these recruiters. I sit down, I have a conversation with them, I talk about what they have to offer and stuff like that. Make sure you look in the in the playlist below and see the you can find you can find all five seasons of Lockout Man Makes the Call. Make sure you do that, all right? I'd like to take this time out right quick to mention Trucker's Path. The future of trucking is here with Trucker's Path. Make sure you guys go and download it, you know what I'm saying, in the Google Play Store, or if you have a iOS, it's in the App Store. Trucker's Path, where you can find truck stop parking, way stations, and more. You also, if you're owner operator, you can use it to find quality freight. Trucker's Path, yo. Go to the Play Store or the App Store and download it now. If a recruiter dispatcher tells you something that sounds so amazing that you almost can't believe it. <laughs> no, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, Swift. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Then it probably is. It, it probably might not be all that high. If a if a dry, if a recruiter tells you, oh, well, this company is better than sliced bread, then you might want to take the time to investigate that company just a little bit more before you commit to it. I'm just saying, driver shortages. You're going to hear that a lot of a lot of a lot of companies say it's driver shortages, but that's just saying that. A lot of drivers is not happy with the companies where they at, right? And they, they quick to say, oh, it's a driver shortage. But I feel if it wouldn't be a driver shortage if the companies would just be straightforward and pay us what we're worth. Protect yourself by being cautious and definitely, definitely, definitely do your homework. Be prepared. For life over the world you see what I'm saying you <laughs> you coming from a background of partying being at home sleeping when you want to sleep grinding how you want to grind it's I'm, I'm telling you it's 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 different it's different out here a lot of rookie drivers don't factor in the cost of living out here on the road y'all don't y'all get out here y'all go to the uh, Y'all y'all go to the uh, orientation. Y'all don't bring money. Y'all don't uh, y'all just go there and think that the company is going to get is going to have your back. You think the company is going to feed you? They going you think the company is going to clothe you and all like that, but that's far from 
what it is out here. Let me tell you, when you come to orientation, these are the things you're going to need. These are the things that you're going to need out here when you go to orientation, when you go to the, when you go to the trucking company. Because I guarantee you that the company is not, is not going to take care of you. You got to take care of yourself. You got to put on your bit boy pants and you got to do it. So check this out. At least come with three hundred dollars at least because during orientation if you're a brand new driver you're going to have to go out with a with a uh, you're going to have to go out with a uh, with a trainer and you're going to be out with that trainer for about for about a couple of weeks what if you get with this company and you got to wait for a trainer your money they the company don't even start to pay you yet until you're on that trainer's truck so what you're going to do in the meantime while you're waiting for a trainer you got to eat right you got to eat you got to um let me see let me let me let me put it to you this way okay let me put it to you this way at least have about three hundred dollars at least that'll be enough to cover for your food or whatever your hygiene products or whatever all right next thing you're going to need is a credit card it doesn't matter what type of credit card it is if you got bad credit you can you can get one of them bad credit credit cards and that can at least set you up with about three or five hundred dollars worth of credit now wonder why you need that so in case things don't work with this company you can drop the truck back off and you can get home now you now the company is not going to get you home I, I, I can tell you that right now company is not going to get you home you are gonna have to get you home so with a credit card you can rent yourself a car and then get back home um, other things you're gonna need when you come out to orientation or things that you don't need number one you don't need the kitchen sink all you need is three bags one for your clothes one for your electronics like your computer your tablet and one for your personal hygiene that's all you need because when you get into a trainer's truck when you get into a trainer's truck you ain't gonna have no space to make that your own okay you only gonna have just enough space just to put your shit in a little in a little compartment and that top bunk that's about it that's what you that's that's what you need or don't need you, you don't need a lot of shit when you come out here all right so take it from me those are the things you're gonna need let's get back to the big camera as I was saying a lot of rookies don't factor in the fact I mean don't factor in the cost of living out here so again like i say you're going to at least leave at least about 300 dollars for the cost of living what you want to do is you want to save your money if you don't have no responsibility buy groceries from the grocery store like walmart or audi's or something like that don't go to truck stops and eat the truck stop food all the time because your money is not going to be there when you start out in truck. Just make sure you keep all that what I just said in mind. So let's keep let's keep it moving. Now I hope you guys is taking everything that I'm saying in stride. All right, I'm not I'm not just coming out here just to talk shit to you. I'm coming out here to bring you the experience that I had. You know what I'm saying? I learned all my stuff in my first year. I, I did all the bad habits. I got all that out the way. You're going to want to get all of that out the way to become the professional truck driver. I know you can be. I know you can be the professional truck driver. So my last thought on this, on, on this rookie mistake thing, and I think a lot of you have it, is that you guys don't take time to listen to the veterans. Listen to the old school drivers. You coming out here thinking, oh, well, shit, I, I know everything. Well, I tell you what, bro, 
If you know everything, then it's time to hang up the keys. It's time to hang up the keys because you're still training in this game. The training don't stop. The learning don't stop. There's something new in this industry every day. So whenever you get a chance to, you know, listen to the old school drivers, take that time and listen to them. Many rookie, many rookie drivers are so excited about getting their license, they tend to forget where the path was led for them. They don't want to take no advice. They don't want to listen. They don't want nothing to do with veteran or old school truck drivers. But those are the ones that come and give you the helpful experience though. They have been there, they have done that. They did all this shit way before us even came into the play. Us millennials, manual driving, shift driving. None of y'all don't know about that shit. All y'all is just like me driving the automatic truck. Y'all don't know about y'all don't y'all don't know about how hard it was for them to get back and forth in a motherfucking non-air ride truck, bouncing up and down. Y'all don't know about sleeping behind the seat, not like in the sleeper where you got all your amenities. We talking about behind the seat with no amenities laying on a piece of wood. Y'all don't know nothing about that. Take your time, and if an old schooler wanna come up and chop it up with you and say, hey, this is what it, this is, what it is back in the day, take the time and listen. I did, I did, I still do. That's why, that's why I'm the top 50 YouTubers to watch. Well, that is it for this episode of Lockout Men Podcast. I want to thank you guys for being here. I want to thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. Stay tuned for all the interviews, all the calls, all the let's talks. You know what I'm saying? And I, I appreciate everybody. Shout out to everybody that supports me in my cash app dollar sign lockout man that supports me with coffee the coffee link is in the description shout out to all you guys that do that because i am thirsty and it is hot i'm just saying i love doing these videos for you i don't know without you there won't be no me so with that said i'm about to get on up out of here i appreciate you guys don't forget to like subscribe comment share and hit that bell and don't forget to support me on that note, I'm about to get on up out of here. Y'all take it easy. Peace.